Today, we're going to walk you through how using a content server workflow, you can kick off a process to obtain electronic signatures via core signature that will support critical business processes in your organization. We'll go ahead and log in to content server here. I'll be playing the role of Baker, who's the hiring manager for that NDA. We need to have our contractor Martin Schultz sign. There's the smart interface of content server. I'll go ahead, navigate my way to that document under HR here. There's the NDA we're after. Show you how easy it is. We're going to go ahead and start a workflow. It would have a list of all my workflows in here, but this is for core signature. We want that electronic signature from Martin Schultz. So we'll go ahead, kick off the signature. We're going to add our user here, Martin Schultz. I'll go ahead and give that email address. He's just a Gmail user. There we go. Enter that up. Now, Martin in the back end is going to get a notification that we want him to sign this. We'll show you that momentarily. But let's go ahead and prepare the document. This is all part of the workflow core signature. Here's our non disclosure agreement. In the upper right, you'll see the role I'm playing needs to sign, as well as Martin Schultz. So we're going to go ahead and prepare the document. We're going to make Martin sign the document. We'll give him a signature block here to do so. That date can be either automated or we can force Martin to enter a manual date for the signature. But in this case, we'll just go ahead and automate that. Have course signature automatically input the date that Martin signs. Head back here. As I mentioned, Martin in the background is going to get a notification from Jada Baker. That's me, the role I'm playing, uh, saying that a signature is required. Now, Martin, if he had a core signature account, could log in. But in this case, he's just going to go ahead and forego that. Now, uh, here's a variety of options. Martin can go ahead and type his signature, still legally binding. We'll show you how. He could draw it or he could upload a stored signature. Here's the privacy of information assurance that says we take privacy of information seriously. And again, notifications throughout the entire process, whether it's viewed, signed, whatnot. Coming back to my assignments in Content Server as Jada Baker, we see the magic working here. We get that signed document as well as the signature log. So let me go ahead and show you the unwritable format in PDF here of our NDA that Martin has graciously signed. And there's Martin's signature and that automated date that you see there. And in the document properties under the signatures, we can see all the details that occurred, the date it was signed and so forth. But that's really not what we need that's stored in that document. But we have this great thing called the core signature signing log that I'm going to show you here momentarily. It's going to pop up and it's got that uh, secure hash algorithm, which is the key to uh, basically digitally verifying the authenticity of the signature. It's got the IP address, date, exactly what actions were performed on it. And really, in the end, that's all sent out, brought back to content server, all automated through that workflow. I'm going to go ahead here and kick off another workflow to get our friend Martin Schultz onboarded. We're going to provide him with some VPN access. I hope uh, we've covered off the scenario adequately and that you found it a valuable use of your time. 